Hello, hello, um, hello, welcome. Hello, Carlos, how are you today? Hello. 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 Okay, good evening. Hello, hello. Uh, we are going to wait for your classmate. Um, Carlos, I hope you're very class nice today. Are you feeling better now? Okay, good, good. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Carla. It seems like Carla and Carla and Carlos are the only one. <laughs> so, uh, solo somos nosotros. Really? Yes, only you uh, and Carlos and me. We're gonna have the class. Okay, okay. I hope we learn today a lot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So how was your day, Carla? Oh no, Marcel is here. Okay. How was your day, Carla? How was your day? It was good. It was good. In the morning, I went to the gym. Oh, nice. And then um, I had uh, classes in the university. Mm -hmm. And oh. I I went to 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 do um tramitas. How okay. Can I say oh, what kind of uh, what kind of things we're doing? What kind of thing? Uh, for license. Oh, license. Oh, so you went to uh, yeah. run some errands about um, your driver license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for driver my license. driver license. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I think so. I think so. Okay, good. So welcome, Joanna, Selena, Gonzalez de Vanegas. Welcome, Marcelo Chacón. Welcome, Lorena Yanef Peña and Marta Menjibar. Eh, Carla Jovel estaba tan preocupada que solo ella iba a estar en la clase, al igual que Carlos. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Good welcome, welcome. Yeah. So, Carlos was saying, like, oh, no, we are the only one. And then it was Marcelo, and then, uh, and then Joana, and then Marta, and now Lorena. Oh, and now Flor. Flor Garcia de Cisnero, I guess. Oh, I don't know. All right. So welcome, everyone. Um, it's very good to see you. Oh, Cibrian. Flor Garcia de Cibrian. Welcome, Flor. Um, it's good to see you all. Um, today, we are going to review. Remember, remember yesterday, I told you that today we were going to review the topics that we covered last week and this week as well okay so thank you thank you for being right here so how was your day marcelo what do you do today oh well my day okay let me describe you a little bit about how was my day. my day well i'm a little bit tired because i have to walk i woke up uh 4 a.m. because I because I got to go to work in the morning. The traffic is so terrible, really. I uh, so it probably yeah, it took me one and a, one one and a half hour to to arrive to my to to my job. Well, and then I stayed uh, stand up all the morning because I well, I teach to high school students and literature and, you know, how difficult it is to handle a group of teenagers and answer questions and try to, you know, stay, uh, stay cool uh, in front of them. Uh, well, then, then when, uh, I, in the end, well, in the end, after all my classes, I got to go back to my home. And, well, unfortunately, today I have to... Well, I was try I was trying trying to write a book uh, to write a book because I um, this is an independent project uh, to, to uh, redesign a book um, uh, addressed to high school students uh, uh, as well. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have to produce ideas. But right now, I was I was stuck. <laughs> so, uh, oh so yeah, I, I feel so, you. So yes, uh, I. Uh, yeah, so I stayed in front of the, uh, the computer trying to imagine, okay, I don't know exactly what I, what I have to do because right mm -hmm. now the idea uh, never appeared, but you know, so it's part oh, of the yeah. life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. The same happened to me, like, for example, I had to get up around, what, five o'clock in the morning because I go to work. Uh, my, uh, I mean, um, I need to be at work before, before eight o'clock in the morning, but I need to get up at five. 
and then there is a traffic jam and then you gotta wait and the good thing is like if the transportation i mean the bus transportation uh is not crowded and there are not a lot of people you can rest you can lay down and have a nap <laughs> you can sleep while you are waiting for the traffic jam i don't know how safe the buses are over there for close to san salvador or around that area but here in this area like in morazan you can sleep peacefully and nothing happened to you <laughs> nothing oh, happened was, to you i don't know for me oh i don't know over there because i don't i don't know over there if you can sleep and then somebody pointing at your at your forehead like hey give me your yeah. phone or give me your money i don't know all right so but in this part well you can sleep and the thing is like since um people know each other so that we know each other we know the same bus that we take so we know mostly where we go and and we know that we take regularly the bus so thank you thank you marilyn thank you marcelo thank you lorena wow well, i can see that i have more people have claudia linares osmel welcome maria correa welcome ricardo mancilla welcome eneida carla enriquez also i have uh, marilyn ramirez eneida rosa lopez okay welcome welcome everyone Okay, we were talking about how our day was like. How was your day like? Anyone can share how was your day? Was it busy? Was it tiring? Was it ah, relaxing because probably you didn't do anything? How was your day? How was your day? Anyone want to share? Me to share, Joanna. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Joanna. Uh, my, my days is, is happy, happy. No, uh, I was good, good day and little work. Uh, I am happy. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> well, you know, Friday is one of my favorite days, and you can imagine why. <laughs> and it's because Saturday, Saturday, I work until noon. So for me, like Friday is like tomorrow is Saturday. That means that I have a time to sleep a little bit long, a little bit, like 20 minutes. It's enough. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Wow. Be careful, Stephanie Arias, with the dog, the dog over there. <laughs> okay. So we are going to go to the topic. Um, the topic is... Wow. That's a good music. Uh -huh. Let it, let it, let it, let it there. <laughs> okay. So uh, our topic for today is reviewing. We are going to be reviewing what? Reviewing the different activities, the different um, exercises that we uh, worked on during the week. This is the agenda that I have for you. We're going to be talking about making requests, infinitive endurance, etc. Okay. And the objective is very simple. It's you will review the different topics you studied in section one and section two. Y hablando de sección uno y sección dos, no se les vaya a olvidar, por favor, trabajar en la plataforma. Okay? Don't yes, forget yeah, about yeah. working on the platform. Okay? Don't forget that, please. Si no, lo van a regañar. Okay? Please. Oh, okay? please. Yeah. <laughs> si, si no les van a dejar el grado y no les van a dar certificado. Ok, please. Con el okay. chincho le van a dar a los classmates. Ah, uh, with un gimnasio, yeah. with a gina. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, <laughs> let's, okay, let's continue. Um, yesterday, we were working about giving suggestions, right? So we were providing giving suggestions, how to use a computer, how to use a cell phone, how to use a camera, how to use a GPS. So we were providing suggestions. So today, just to review, just for reviewing, can you give me some suggestions? Just imagine that this is my first time with a car. I'm not a good driver, but let's suppose that I'm not a good, well, indeed, I'm not a good driver, but let's suppose that I'm not a good driver. What suggestions can you give me about how to use the car? Look at the example here. Make sure to, try to, be sure to, don't forget to, and remember to. 
Okay, so can you give me some suggestions about how to drive my car? Vayan al chat and give me suggestions, please. Suggestions. Le voy a dar un minuto para que escriban suggestions. Okay. Okay, let me see. Aha, uh -huh. let me see. Okay, try to dry not so fast. Good, good, good. Very good. Be sure to close all the door. Yes, that's a good example. Very good. Please take care when you drive. Don't forget to work on the platform. <laughs> Respect the traffic signals. Okay, nice. Let me see the other examples. Vamos a ver. Okay, okay, be sure to wheel, the wheels are okay. Mm -hmm. Try to drive, okay. Don't forget to make sure you sit at the meeting tonight. Oh, okay. Don't forget to use the seat belt, good example. Don't forget the keys, good. Remember to fill gas. Well, now it's very expensive. <laughs> lo, voy a, lo voy a poner agua. <laughs> yeah, because now it's very expensive. <laughs> Make sure to put gasoline. Remember to just view the mirrors, okay? Make sure to have tools in the back. Wow, that's a terrific idea. Don't forget to have tools, okay? Just in case anything happened to your car, so you have the right tools to pull over your car. Make sure the car is clean, yeah. And the good thing is my car, well, unfortunately, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. My car is black, and you know what happens when you have a, a, a black car. You know what happens, right, when you have a black car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember not to use... Okay, Walter, in ese caso, remember Don't. not to use, not to use. Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember not to use. not to use the cell yeah. when yes. you're driving. Try not to use your cell phone while you drive. Okay, very good. Thank you. I was reading your suggestions, and believe me, I'm going to take into consideration your suggestions because that those suggestions are going to save my life. All right, good. Now let's work on something. I know you love El Salvador. I know El Salvador is your favorite country. Out of all the countries that you have visited, probably El Salvador is your favorite country. All right. So what are we going to do today? Just to so that I want you to speak, I want you to share, I want you to speak in English. I'm going to give you around three minutes of three to five minutes, and you are going to talk about your favorite place in El Salvador, okay? It can be your house, it can be your town, it can be your department. If you live in Santa Ana, you can say, El Congo is the best place in El Salvador. Or oh, Santa Ana City is the best place in El Salvador. And then I can say, no, no, no. Morazan is the best one in the world, okay? If you say, for example, an example, if you say, oh no, El Tunco Beach is, the, is my favorite place, you need to say why. Why El Congo is your favorite place, okay? 
For example, if you say, oh, the lago, I mean, the, is that the Coatepec? Yeah, the Coatepec Lake is my, is my favorite place in El Salvador because I can go swimming, I can go and have fun with my friends, enjoying the view, seeing the sunset or the sunrise, etc. You need to provide reasons, okay? Estamos claro ahí, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? We are going to talk about our favorite place in El Salvador, okay? I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to share what your favorite place is in El Salvador, all right? Let me set up the, the breakout rooms now. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Okay, I'll see you in the breakout rooms and please participate and open your microphone or your cameras if you wish while you are participating. Okay, I'll see you over there. Who's want to start it? Me. My favorite play is Alegría in Slutan because the weather, it is really nice and I can eat many delicious things. Thank you. Tenango. Um, a specific um, mountain, uh, a pital. Uh, there is a play cool. It's a people, people um, amable. I think it's only, only. Um, kind, kind, kind. Mm -hmm. Kind. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, is is the play very 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 cool? Uh, is the um, it's um... wonderful, and um, you got the experience almost to talk uh, the heaven, uh, the heaven because you can see all the mountains, all the mountains. Um, oh, obvious, oh well, all the mountains and even Guatemala and Honduras, and that was an amazing experience. Uh, so. So, well, later I couldn't have the chance to visit that place again for many reasons, you know, work, family, and, uh, and the studies always are, you know, a difficult. Five to breakfast, um, eight o'clock, the weather at that time is so good. It's so good, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, re I remember the, the name of the restaurant is called La Cueva, I remember, but it's so, it's so cheaper. Um, the breakfast cost me around $3. Yeah, it's so, okay. it's so cheap, it's good. Uh, it's another cheap. place I enjoy to visit is uh, Cuatepeque Lake. From my house to Cuatepeque Lake is around 30 minutes, yeah. Okay. For example, when I get my, my pain every end of the month, once time of the month, when went with my wife to enjoy a lunch uh, from the lake and I enjoy the air. Nice. I like it. Yeah, the weather is light. I don't... I don't... I don't know. This is... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how are you doing? Fonseca, how, what? Uh, where, why are you talking about Golfo de Fonseca? It's very far away from oh. where you are. Uh -huh. Yeah, I went, I went Golfo de Fonseca on Sunday. Yeah, that's cool place. So do you go to Espíritu de la Montaña? 
Or you just go, or you just went? No, I, I, I went in a tour trip. In a tour trip. Oh, nice. In a, nice. In a little ship. What? Nice, nice. Yeah, in a little ship and, and visit, and, and we visited um, a lot of little islands. I don't know. Yeah, yo creo que se dice isla. I, I say. Yes, island, islands, yeah, islands, island. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's super cool. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so I'll let you continue uh, discussing and sharing your ideas. I'm going to go to another room, okay? Thank you, thank you for participating. Okay, teacher. That's good. Yeah. Okay, Reina how, are, Trigueros. how are you doing? I, I'm from San Juan Pico. I live in Delgado City, San Salvador. Okay. Um, Ricardo? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, so do you talk? Uh, do you talk about your favorite places? Finish, teacher. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Voy a, voy a cerrar ahorita entonces la room. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for uh, talking and sharing your ideas with your classmate. Thank you so much. All right. I know I know. Uh, some of you were talking and talking, and that's good. That's good. That's what we are looking for at this program and, and Inglés Corporativo. So you had time to talk and share uh, your skills, share your ideas, share your um, points of view, anything related to the topic. All right, so I found out that you like talking about your past experiences, about the things that you do when you're free, and that's good, that's very good. All right, so um, who wants to share? Who wants to share with the whole class? Who wants to share? Quien quiere, quien quiere decir una, una, um, what is your favorite place in El Salvador? Who, who? Lorena? My favorite place. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I have two, three favorite places. Oh, so you have, okay, okay, go ahead. That one, that one is, is uh, when I go to San Blas, uh, to the beach. Oh, what is what is San Blas? San Blas Beach. San Blas, San Blas. is next to mm -hmm. Mahawal. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. What is Mahawal? Ma Mahawal is a beach in the Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, Puerto de la Libertad. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. In the new carretera, the new yeah. the surf city. Is it the surf city? Surf city. Yeah, it's surf city right now. And it is a beautiful place. Ah, okay, good. Okay, someone else who wants to share about his or her favorite place? Who? Solo un voluntario necesita, no, no, no se estén peleando, por favor. <laughs> in my case, teacher, I like uh, Cuarepeque Lake. It's close to my house, mm -hmm. around 25, 30 minutes. And enjoy to go with my wife to drink a coffee and sometimes lunch. And I don't know, I uh, use frequently a ferry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. use, a, use a ferry to but drink a coffee. Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah, in Guarapeca Lake. Costs uh -huh. around $5. Walter. Yeah. Walter. Yes. How much Tell is me. the cost of the ferry? $5 uh, for each person. $5. So, yeah. And, and the food is, is expensive? No, not expensive. No, okay. no, no, it's expensive. No. That's cool. I want I want to visit yeah. that very oh nice. Nice. Excellent. Work. Welcome nice. to Santana. Okay. Uh, Walter, is there any any place that you recommend around there? Any place, a good place where we can eat? Um 
Mm -hmm. uh, there is a restaurant called Los Ranchos mm -hmm. in the okay. Lake of Cuarepec. It's a restaurant. Mm, it's nice. no expensive. It's metal. It's good. In the middle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They they rent a, a ferry. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even Thank though, you. Uh, you you can enjoy a lunch on the Walter, ferry. Walter, the restaurant Torremolinos. Uh, how how is the eat? It's, uh, it's before uh, Los Ranchos. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. so yeah. if you want to go around, contact Walter. He knows every single Yeah, yeah. Walter Stewart. Okay. <laughs> no worries. No, 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 no. uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. See, everyone is interested. Like, Walter, so you are becoming very yeah. uh, famous. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right, one more volunteer uh, who wants to share about his or favorite, his or her favorite place. One volunteer, one more volunteer. Nobody? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let me see Cristobal Molina. Let me ask Cristobal Molina. Cristobal, are you there, Cristobal? <laughs> Cristobal, <laughs> are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, can you share your favorite place? Oh, yes. Uh, really, I don't have a favorite well, because I consider Sabor has a lot of beautiful places, but mm -hmm. I like to clean mountains. You can yeah. breathe oh. air fresh and take some beautiful picture of the landscape. What mountains have you climbed? Mm -hmm. mm. Or to what places have you gone? Is there, a, is there any, uh, any volcano or any mountain that you have gone? Algunas montañas that you can tell us? Yeah, the mountain that are near my house. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Where do you live, Cristobal? I live in, in El Porvenir. Atana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, ¿cómo se, llama, ¿cómo, se, ¿cómo se llama el pueblo? El Porvenir. El porvenir. Ah, El Porvenir. Ah, okay, I, I don't know yeah. where El Porvenir is, but welcome. Okay, welcome. It's good to have you here. All right. So the, let's move the on. the place where you can find watermelon. Watermelon. Okay, so bring, bring and send us a lot of watermelon to Chilanga, Monasán. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, watermelon is one of my favorite food. I mean, not food, but fruit. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to the topic. Let's go to the topic. Remember the last class, uh, well, in the previous classes, we were talking about uh, phrasal verbs. Do you remember that? Phrasal yeah. verbs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was saying that, that we have a phrasal verbs when we have nouns. The nouns can either go, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. The nouns can either go, uh, let me see. Okay, can either go at the end or in the middle. Right? Yeah. That's very simple. Yeah. If we have yeah. a phrasal verb, they can go at the end or in the middle. All right? Okay, good. Yeah. However, however, if we have pronouns like it, him, her, etc., they mm. need to go in the middle. No at the end. Look, at the no end. at the end. No. Okay. All right, good. So be careful when you uh, are using um, phrasal verbs, especially if you're using a noun, remember, they go at the end or in the middle. Okay, good. All right. So also we have phrasal verbs like turn down, pick up, hang up. Can you remember some other example of phrasal verbs? Can you type in the chat? Some other example of phrasal verbs? Clean mm -hmm. up. Okay, clean up. Move up. Move up. Mm -hmm. Put away, turn off. Good. Take cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, turn down the radio, take out, take away, good. Uh, take out. Mm -hmm. Take out. Take out. Mm -hmm. Get up. Let out. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay. Teacher. Yes. Clean up. Mm -hmm. Yes, I only uh, have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Tell me, tell me. The first exercise, I have problem because mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't remember the number, but it's in the, um, I, I only remember the sentence uh, include books and mm -hmm. I put the correct words, um, check it uh, always bad. I don't know. Probably, um, probably you didn't. Uh, probably um, you didn't uh, put a period at the end. Probably, or probably you didn't include a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. Probably, or probably you give extra space. That's the thing. The system doesn't recognize when there are double space. Only one space. Probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I check it yeah. after. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, you let me know. I know you told me, but I, I think the date where when you told me I was busy, I saw your message, but I didn't reply back. So I apologize for that. Okay. All right, good. So I can see that you have a lot of examples that you know different examples of phrasal verbs. All right. So also, remember that we have different ones. For example, we have pick up, turn off, clean up, put away, turn down, take off, hang up, take out, let, let out, uh, turn on. Okay, good. So I would like you to do something right now. And it's the fact that I would like you to type or tell me sentence. Okay, who wants to do number one? Quien quiere leerme la número uno? Who wants to do number one? I teacher me, me. Okay, and Aiden number me. one. Okay, good. Number two, el número dos. Okay. Number two, number two. who wants to read number two? Number no. dos. Me teacher. Walter. Okay, Walter number two. Okay, good. Number three, Lorena Peña. Okay, Lorena, number three. Uh, Joanna, number four. Okay, let me see. Maria Correa, number five. Marcelo, number six. Stephanie Arias, number seven. Carla Jovel, number eight. Uh, let me see. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, yes. Don't see, don't, ah, okay. Sorry, sorry, no. no oh, okay, see. okay. Claudia Linares, number, ¿en qué número me quedé? No, lo siento, se me olvidaron los números ahorita. Uh, dije number seven, ¿a quién le tocó el número siete? Okay. Okay, number seven, vamos a hacer number seven, eh, Marta Lengíbal. Number eight, Osmel Antonio, number eight. Number nine, Cristobal Molina. And number 10, Ricardo Mancilla. Okay? Okay, vamos a ver. Número uno. Okay, num number one. Number one. Pick up, okay. Solo léame el número uno. ¿Quién quiere leer el número uno? Bueno, ya se lo di a... Pick up the toys, please. Pick up, ya, yeah. ah, teacher. Ajá, se durmió, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Ajá. Pick up the toys, please. Good, thank you. Number two. Uh, number two could be turn the TV off, please. O okay, could turn. be turn the light, please. Off the light. No. Turn the light, light. Oh, please. Good. Maybe. 
Thank you. No, that, that's good. That's good. Number three. Okay. Clean your boots up, please. Okay. Clean your boots up, please. Good. Number four. Hey, teacher, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Please put the books away. Okay, good, good. Number five. Number five. Uh, please turn down the music. Awesome. Thank you, Maria. Number six. Hey, teacher, okay. right now. Mm -hmm. Please take off the light. Please. Wait, 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 wait. Can you repeat it again, Reina? Please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Please take off your jackets. Ah, okay. Ajá. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ya me había asustado, Reina. Dijo, ¿cómo voy a sacar la luz? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Reina. Uh, please take off the jacket. Okay, good. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher Martin. Mm -hmm. hand, hand your jacket up, please. Good. Thank you. Number eight. Please take out the trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Smith. Number or, nine. Or the, Number, uh, cat. Number nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Number nine. Número nueve. Creo que se lo di a Molina, si no me equivoco. Ajá. Ok. ¿Alguien que me lo quiera, quiera hacer el número nueve, ya que Molina no está? Please let the cat out. Number 10. Número 10. Mancilla. Okay, turn on 